Love is in the air. Everywhere I look around. Okay, so I'm not a singer by any means, but I am a DIYer, and today I am sharing. Darn it. I think five or six. I just counted a second ago. I think there's five, maybe six DIYs that I'm sharing today, and they are part. This video is part of a playlist, and it's called the Hello Love playlist. So it is Valentine's Day love themed DIYs. And I will tell you more about the host and the co-host in just a bit. And I'll tell you more about the playlist in a minute. But um, that's what this video is about. And that's what I'm sharing. And I can't remember how many DIYs. So I'm suggesting that you remember how many DIYs. You keep count. And at the end of the video, you comment and you tell me how many I shared. And they'll be like, oh, that's how many she shared. And that'll be great. So um, I am rambling. And I think we should just get to creating something fun. On this channel, I love to share DIYs and budget home decor. And if we haven't met yet, my name is Lisa and this is our gray house. I saw this little sign at um, Dollar Tree <laughs> and I thought it looked like a postage stamp. So I decided I'm gonna try to make a stamp. Took off that back little sticker. I took off the jute twine and I attempted to fill in the holes with the spackle from Dollar Tree. I don't think it worked out that well, to be honest, but I then taped off the outer edges and painted the inside wood part with Parisian gray, folk art, home decor, chalk paint, and the color Parisian gray. And then I covered up the Parisian gray with painter's tape and painted the outside with folk art, home decor, chalk paint, and the color milk jug. And the idea was like, I thought the stamp had like, you know, it was white around the edges and that's what I was doing, but I didn't want stark white. But now that I'm looking back at it, it just looks like it's, just looks like it's the regular wood instead of like paint on it. So I probably should have done white, but I didn't. So here we are. The next I'm taking this little wood love word. And I think that I got it from either either Dollar Tree or Hobby Lobby. <laughs> That's pretty much where I shop. So I am just attaching it to the front. Now, you know, I was trying to go for that forever stamp look and I thought about even trying to copy a stamp and kind of recreating it, but with Dollar Tree stuff. But anyway, this is what we're doing. I'm gonna do the big reveal at the end. It's not really a big reveal, but I'm gonna do a re reveal of all the DIY projects that I did at the end. I told you I would tell you about the playlist and the hosting co-host. So it's called the Hello Love Playlist. I am gonna have a link to that in the description box below. The hosts are Ellie from DIY From House to Home and Tammy from The Rusted Willow. The guest host is Marika from Marika Creations. And I hope I'm saying her name right. Marika, if you're watching this, and I hope you are, <laughs> tell me if I pronounced your name right or tell me how to pronounce your name because I want to get it right. You know, it's your name. You should get it right. Anyway, back to the video. I am taking these two paper mache letters that I got from Hobby Lobby. I did get them on sale and I've had them for a long time. They were in my stash and I'm painting the X, the letter X with folk art home decor chalk paint in the color barely pink. And the thing about painting on paper mache is you have to not do a heavy coat because it is paper and it will kind of like wilt on you a little bit so just be careful not to overdo it with your coats of paint do a, a lighter coat of paint and you can always go back and do a second coat now i'm taking the o and i'm using folk art home decor chalk paint in the color parisian gray And to finish it off, I'm taking one of my super dry paint pens and I'm adding little like polka dots on it on both the X and the O. I saw this inspo at Dollar Tree, um, but it was a little too large for the area where I was going to be putting it. So I thought to myself, I will cut out a piece of wood. It's actually, it just looks like a house shape. So you can kind of turn a house shape into an envelope if you'd like. I am staining it with Waverly Wax in the color Antique. I'm painting it on and wiping it off with a damp cloth, just like I always do. Then I'm taking a white paint pen and I'm kind of outlining the whole, look at me trying to find the center and do all like math stuff. <laughs> but I'm trying to create that envelope look and just kind of using my white paint pen to do that. Here I am using power tools in my wood workshop. 
it's not really my wood workshop y'all it is the garage <laughs> it's the garage in my house and I'm using my jigsaw and just cutting out the shape for the next project and I feel like I'm getting better with the jigsaw but it does take a little bit of patience and practice in my opinion this kind of looks like a pac-man <laughs> to be honest but it's gonna be a post office postal uh, yeah post mailbox it's gonna be a mailbox <laughs> but one of the blue ones but it's not gonna be blue i'm standing with waverly wax in the color antique painting it on and wiping it off with a damp cloth i mean i think we all know how i do it but in case you're new that's how i do it and i'm taking a white paint pen and i'm kind of outlining to give you the idea that it is a mailbox and I am looking at a picture. You can't see it, it's off to the left, but I'm looking at a picture to kind of remind me of the shape and how I want to sketch it, draw it on, paint it on. I guess I'm painting it. If it's a paint pen, I'm painting it on, right? And I am adding the USPS logo. Obviously it's not the exact same, but it gives you, definitely gives you the idea of what it is. You look at it and you kind of say, yeah, that's what it is. Oh, look, Capcom's here for a hot minute. Now, here is the favorite, like, this is my favorite project. I don't even know what project we're on. I should have been keeping count, but I'm not. So, here's one version of making a letter. I'm using a paint stick. This is some balsa wood that I had. No, it's not. It is a Dollar Tree sign that I actually cut in half. And then I was going to use it for something else. And now I'm just cutting it into some kind of rectangle shapes and it doesn't even have to be a rectangle to make a letter you could make it out of a square but anyway that's what i'm doing here i'm just kind of cutting it down to the size that i feel will work well and last but not least i'm cutting out some rectangles out of cardboard which you know is one of my favorite <laughs> mediums to use when i'm diying because it's inexpensive and usually pretty easy easily accessible to to people that get packages like I do. <laughs> I'm not sure where else you would find cardboard. I just think of a cardboard box that I got a package in. So I'm cutting it out with just with regular scissors and cutting it to the shape that I want. To give it the detail that you're looking for, I'm using a paint pen and I'm using the thinner one and it just either the cardboard was really soaking up the paint or yeah the paint pen super dry it could be a combination of both <laughs> but i'm just outlining the entire thing with the white paint pen and going back in and making that little v shape to create the envelope so you know you look at it and you say oh that's an envelope lisa and while at Dollar Tree, I did see this pack of felt hearts and you know, there's, there's other shapes and things of hearts there, shapes and things, <laughs> heart shapes there, but I'm using the felt ones today and I'm taking the red ones and peeling off the back and just attaching it to that flap thing that I just painted on. This is really super simple, very easy, affordable. It's affordable, budget friendly. I don't know what to tell you taking those wood shapes that I cut out earlier again it was out of a Dollar Tree sign and a paint stick and I just cut them down to size and I'm painting them all with the folk art home decor chalk paint in the color milk jug I was hoping for just kind of like a neutral vibe not stark white or anything like that and just painting the front and back and trying to get the sides of all these little pieces of wood I'm taking a black paint pen this time and outlining to make it look like an envelope and going all the way around with the black paint pen and then creating that little V to make it look like the envelope flap. And I'm gonna tell y'all, these little felt hearts <laughs> that I got from Dollar Tree, I mean, they're super cheap. You're getting a bunch, like a hundred pieces, I think is in there. But man, it was hard to take off that little backing to be able to stick it on. But once you stuck it on, it looks super cute. This gumball machine I made last year and I will link the video up in the corner in case you want to see how I made it. It's using primarily Dollar Tree 
items except for the bases is from Hobby Lobby. And then I took some red tissue paper and kind of folded it up so it gave it some, you know, bulk in the bottom. And then I just started adding my little love letters inside and just trying to place them so you could see them and but they weren't all like, you know, facing the same way, kind of give it some variety, that kind of thing. I also wanted to share with you guys that I have a Facebook crafting group. It's called Crafty DIYs on a Budget. I run it with my friend Sarah from GGB DIY and the link is gonna be in the description box below as well as all the other links that you might wanna know about. And it's free to join. It's on Facebook and we share things that we're working on, the crafts that we're working on, projects, ask for ideas and things like that. So we'd love if you join. And if you do join, please post something that you're working on so we can all, so we can all see and encourage you. And I don't know why I'm talking so hard tonight, but let's get back to crafting. Okay, who's keeping track of how many DIYs we've done? So this is the last DIY that I'm doing. And I'm just, I cut out a cardboard, larger rectangle shapes, and I am outlining them in a white paint pen and making a little V and adding the red heart. I'm making a garland, but you'll see it in a second. Now this is how the X and O turned out. They are super cute. This is gonna be my cat tear tray, or it's what I decorate uh, my cat items with because it's nearest to the cat food. And I'm gonna be adding more stuff to it, but I wanted you to see those because I made them in this video. Here's that stamp. You know, I'm not super happy with the stamp because you can't really tell it's a stamp. It just looks like a little sign with the word love and three hearts on it. I should have put like five cents or something on there. That little envelope turned out cute. I love how the mailbox turned out and I think I want to make another one but you know like the regular color blue and then there's just an extra envelope and there's that gumball machine with the envelopes inside and I think that turned out super cute as well. There's more stuff I'm going to add to this little area in my bathroom but here's how the garland turned out. I really love it. Now if you remember I used to have the Christmas trees that I had wrapped in yarn there and all I did is pull those off and then I just use some masking tape to attach these little letters onto there. So that makes my Valentine's love inspired garland. Thank y'all so much for watching my video today. I really do appreciate the company while I craft and create. And I hope you enjoyed the things that I shared today and the things that I made. And I'm sure by now I will have, I mean, by the time you're watching this, I will have seen how many DIYs I created, but you tell me in the comments below how many DIYs I created and uh, maybe I'll send one of y'all something special. Who knows? I mean, you know, I'm just saying. If you're watching this video and you're hearing that, leave me a comment and tell me how many DIYs you think I made and tell me which one was your favorite and then I'll draw a name and we'll do something fun. So, um, something a little fun because, you know, <laughs> a little fun, like maybe a Starbucks gift card or something. But anyways, um, don't forget links and everything is all in the description box below. And thank you so much for being here. I really do, um, I do enjoy my crafting bestie friends. And if you wanna follow me on social media, like here on Instagram or over on, uh, here on Instagram, we're on YouTube, here on YouTube or over on Instagram or over on TikTok or something like that, my handle is Our Gray House. But just don't follow me in real life though, because that's creepy. Bye. <laughs>